Hey, my fellow English learner! I've been studying a couple languages besides English for a while now, and it totally challenged my understanding of some aspects of studying English. So in this video, I'm going to share a few thoughts and insights on learning languages to help you learn English as effectively as possible. Let's dive in! Most of us studied English at school, at least for a while. In the past, I wasn't very appreciative of my school education, and I actually thought that English wasn't taught very well. So after graduating, my listening, writing, and speaking skills were pretty much non-existent, or at least I felt so. But what I failed to understand back then, when I started my self-studying journey, was that how easy it was for me to start reading like children's and young adult books and start listening to slow podcasts in English, because I already knew all the basics. When I started studying Dutch from scratch, it was challenging. I had to study so much to get the basics right and learn enough vocabulary and grammar to start reading and listening in this language. The second lesson learning other languages taught me about English is that how much content in English exists out there. So much content! Podcasts for learners and aimed at native speakers, videos with subtitles, textbooks, graded readers, books with simplified vocabulary and grammar, reliable dictionaries. A lot of the content is free. When it comes to less popular languages, the situation is much worse. I struggle to find even a good dictionary for Greek let alone graded readers or simple texts to read or slow podcasts with transcripts to listen to. I can read books in English and Dutch on my Kindle and translate new words easily by clicking on them, but I can't do the same thing with my Greek books. That's why I have to sit down and read in Greek extremely slowly, looking up new words in a paper dictionary, and now I really appreciate how easy it is to find wonderful materials in English on any topic imaginable. And how easy it is to Google any question about English that comes to mind and find the answer in a moment. Use this opportunity to learn English by surrounding yourself with various content in English you enjoy and I guarantee you'll see the results. My third point is that learning vocabulary in context is so much easier than memorizing a bunch of separate words. I started learning words in sentences as soon as it became possible, because I noticed that I recall the words better and faster when they're linked together. A sentence like, the leaves on the trees turn yellow and fall, makes me remember every single word. Leaves, trees, turn yellow, fall really well. Also, flashcards work really well for me. I haven't used flashcards for learning English vocabulary for a few years now, and at this level, I kinda don't need them. But I do want to know a lot of new vocabulary in my other languages, so I use flashcards to make the job much easier and more effective. Right now, I prefer simple paper flashcards over a flashcard program like Anki, but anything will work. By the way, I also use flashcards to learn grammar. I translate interesting grammar structures from my native tongue into Greek, for example. My fourth point is that grammar is important. I was very dismissive of learning grammar in the past because I thought that listening and reading to a bunch of stuff in English was enough to really get grammar and understand and internalize grammar. 
Even though consuming a lot of content in the language you're learning is essential, studying grammar rules can really help you understand how the language works. And actually, English grammar is not that bad, at least compared with some other languages. It's pretty logical and straightforward. Lesson number five is that learning a language to a decent level takes time. Like, so much time. And the frustration of not moving fast enough is real. But you know, I kind of stopped comparing my language journey with that of other people because it doesn't help me learn better. I'm trying to be compassionate towards myself and study as regularly as I can without feeling guilty that I'm not learning enough vocabulary or I'm not understanding listening materials fast enough. Another thing I realized is that listening is a nightmarish skill to improve. The progress is so slow. <laughs> At least, since you're learning English, you can choose from all the wonderful materials out there. And everything is so interesting. Try finding a slow podcast in Greek, for example. You're out of luck. Lesson number seven. You can definitely learn a language on your own, at least when it comes to comprehending it. Listening and reading can be acquired by consuming a lot of content in the language you're learning. Uh, you know, you'll probably benefit from some help with speaking and writing, but there are many things you can do by yourself. You know what else I recently realized? That learning through translation is not that bad. For the longest time, I thought that you need to stop translating in your head or doing any translating exercises as soon as possible. But that's actually not true. Translating has been a great help for me. I am really appreciative that I can find materials in my native language to learn other languages. Intensive reading with translation has been one of the most useful exercises for me with the languages I started studying from scratch. I am planning to switch to no translation at a much higher level, but it's not gonna bother me for a long while. There is nothing wrong with using translation as a tool. Another thing I realized is that children's books are actually quite challenging to read. You need a few thousand words under your belt to read a simple children's book without looking up new words in the dictionary a lot. That's why I'm so happy that so many graded readers in English exist. You can become proficient at reading simple texts and then tackle children's books. Unfortunately, in Dutch and Greek, I didn't have this option, so I had to start from children's books. And let me tell you, <laughs> looking up every other word in the dictionary, especially a paper dictionary, is not fun. There is another thing that studying other languages, especially Greek, has totally challenged my perspective on, and it's speaking, especially speaking at a lower level. I thought that to start speaking in a language, you need to like first learn a lot of words and grammar structures, then second, consume a lot of content in English or any other language, and only then you can start speaking. That's not true in every situation. Learning to speak is a separate skill, and you can do it as soon as you start learning a language. In Greek, for example, I learned to speak under the guidance of a teacher, and it's been very rewarding, and I wish I could have done this sooner with English. My English learning journey could have been much more efficient. What about you? Are you learning any other languages? Do you want to learn any? <laughs> if you want to hear more about my English learning journey, check out these two 
videos after that. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time with more awesome language content!